Welcome back guys, Dr. Tiff here. This week we are discussing positive psychology. And that's a very broad and generic term, but specifically we're talking about perspective and how we can really change the way we approach a situation and how we respond to a situation based on our perspective. So uh, one thing I want you guys to do before we start is I want you to not think about purple elephants. When I say to you, don't think about purple elephants, just me suggesting the image is enough for your mind to create that image. And I would guess almost, if not all of you, pictured that even though I told you not to. So the lesson learned there is we always want to put our mind around what we want to accomplish as opposed to thinking about what we don't want to accomplish. I love using the example of a golfer in this situation. If I'm standing on that tee box and I'm looking out at the fairway and I'm saying to myself over and over, don't hit it in the water, don't hit it in the water, or don't go left, don't go left, I'm already shifting my attention and increasing my potential to have to accomplish exactly what I don't want to accomplish. Rather than thinking about not hitting it in the water, saying to yourself, hit it in the fairway, hit it in the fairway or on the green, you're actually projecting what you want to accomplish rather than what you don't. Any behavior modification is no different. We want to think about the things that we're shooting for. We want to put our mind around and visualize success. If I'm visualizing the potential for failure, then I'm already putting more energy into the negative outcome than the positive outcome. If I have so much energy in a day to commit to mental and physical energy, why not put the majority of that in a positive direction, whether that's positive self-talk, whether that's positive behaviors, making healthy choices with my meals, setting up my schedule so that I get a workout in, giving myself a break from the desk to regroup and to refuel my mind and my body. So positive psychology is not just always thinking about butterflies and daisies and nothing's ever terrible in the world certainly there's challenges there's going to be struggles there's going to be setbacks every day along this journey whatever changes you're trying to make in your life are going to be faced with adversity we can decide we dictate how we look at those situations, how we approach those situations. It's the approach avoidance. If we don't approach it positively and we simply try to avoid the negative outcome, then we're setting ourselves up for potential failure. So specifically thinking as you approach a barrier to change, this is a challenge, not a threat. So two big takeaways for this week. One is visualizing success, setting your thoughts up to be specifically what you want to accomplish rather than what you want to avoid. Having positive self-talk, I can do this, I will do this, I want this. Um, I have the skills to accomplish this versus I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this or I shouldn't and I can't. All of those just kindle up negative energy. And the second thing is really always thinking challenge versus threat. I want a challenge. That drives me. That motivates me. That pushes me. Threat? I want no part of that. Right? If I walk into a competitive situation and I look at my opponent on the other side of the court and I feel challenged by them to better myself, to push harder, to have the best game that I can have versus I feel threatened that they might be better than me, that I might not be able to live up to expectation, my whole demeanor changes. It's a confidence, right? If I sit in a chair like this, and I'm talking to you 
or I'm here and I'm open and my shoulders are back and my posture is tall and I have confidence and I command respect. That's how you have to go into your day. Command performance out of your day. Don't think about the potential of what might happen if you falter. Because if you don't think you can do it, my guess is you'll already be self-sabotaging yourself. So this week, think positive, strive forward, challenge not a threat, and always think about what you want to accomplish and not what you don't. See you next time.